Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. Well, today it's hot out. It's our one of our last days here in Michigan before we move on to Santa Barbara County and then Baja, California to taste. But we are going to taste a Rhone blend for in terms of white wine. But it's not a French wine. It's an Australian wine. Now, Shireen has been wanting to try uh, Rosan or Massan grapes for a long time. We heard about them from our good friend Stephen Rias on the Reddit uh, wine sub forum. I don't know what you call it. Is that what you call it? I don't know. The, sorry, the Reddit wine sub forum. Anyways, the subreddit. <clears throat> there. Anyways, we're going to be tasting it today. We, um, you know, Rosan, uh, Marsan, Viognier, those are the white grapes that are used in the Rhone Valley. Uh, Chateauneuf du Pop makes a white blend. There's also some other whites down there in the Southern Rhone Valley that use those grapes predominantly. Uh, Marsan is the highest yielding of all those grapes, so a lot of people are using them. And this producer is Australian. This is the Diarenberg, the Hermit Crab, Viognier Marsan from McLaren Vale. It's 2014. Can you see that nice? Look pretty good. Uh, this was 18 US dollars. I didn't realize until after I got this. 90 points Robert Parker, 90 points Venice Media. So some big big time scores here. It was only 19 bu or 18 bucks. Got the nice screw cap. Now Dio Renberg, I'm always pleased with. We've had their low level wines before. Uh, this maybe would be lower to mid range, and we've had their top tier wines. All of them have been excellent. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Uh, this is 74% Viognier, 26 Barsan, and in French and American oak for eight months. So let's give this a shot. I'm also excited. My mom, who's my parents don't drink wine very much. My mom has started to fall in love with Viognier, so we thought we would give this a shot. Let's take a look at the color first of all. There's a little cloudiness, a little spritz going on in there. Uh, kind of like a straw yellow color. Not deeply colored. Nice, right? This reminds me of kind of a Sauvignon Blanc. Let's give this a taste. Viognier, uh, known to be a very floral, have a lot of floral aromas. Mmm, that's yeah. interesting. I love it. I got a ton of dandelion, fresh cut grass, a little watermelon. Mango peach. It smells nice and crisp. Exactly the kind of want, uh, wine I want today. It's pretty hot out. Let's give this a try. Marsan's supposed to have a little bit more weight. Uh, these Rhone whites, which I have not tried any Chateauneuf du Pop whites or Southern Rhone whites, are are starting to gain a lot of traction. The 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 quality has improved over the last 10, 20 years. So uh, I want to try some, but for right now, this will have to do. Really nice weight on the mouth. I gotta see what that it's Australian. So I'm guessing the alcohol is gonna be a little bit higher on this. I cannot. 13, That's what you're guessing? 13, 13 and a half? 13.3. The body's bigger. Uh, reminds me of a Barrique Chardonnay. It's got a little bit of body to it, but it's still crisp, beautiful acidity. I think the body come from Marsan. It's a bit, it's a bit oily. It is a bit oily. I get a lot of melon component, a little bit of pear skin. Just a, I get a touch of lychee. Do you pick that up at all? Mm, Just a touch of lychee. But what I like about this, ninety points is a big time score. It's a good wine. Yeah. What I like is in the mid palate starts to taper off. And then right before it hits the end palate, you get a, a, that fresh burst of citrus flavor. Do you get that? Yeah, I do. Long end palate, nice weight. Nice white wine for 17 18 bucks. I don't think you're going to go wrong. Uh, my Vivino score, I'm going to give this 4.2 out of 5. I think it's very good. Super good value. If you like, uh, I think, I see this for somebody if they like oaked, creamy, buttery Chardonnays. Uh, but they also like some crispness of maybe like some New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc or even some French Sauvignon Blanc, kind of a little marriage in between the two. Sure, you think that's a decent analogy? Yeah, 
I think it is because it has pretty big body and I'd imagine it will go better with chicken. Yeah. Instead of, you know, typical white one will go well better with fish and all that. This yeah, this, this will go well with chicken. Still hold up the fish. It's going to taste nice with the greens. Yeah. Nice job by Dear Renberg. I, I, I'm looking forward to visiting them. We had one of their top wines, the, the Dead Arm Shiraz, yeah. Yeah. which was a super nice wine. So hopefully get down to Australia and check it out sometime. If you like this video, please go out and try some Viognia and Marsan. Now, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel, and I will see you at the next episode.